today's video is a hair video and these products that I'm going to be using today are not new. Um, I think I've seen, uh, well, I know I've seen a couple of uh, the ones that I'm going to use in my wash and go. I've seen when it came out. I just never bought the product. Um, but while I was looking for a clarifying shampoo, normally I use Suave clarifying shampoo. That's the blue shampoo. And I use that to get all of the um, edge control that I put in my hair when I lay down my puffs and um, like my high puff. So I wanted to try something else. And this is the Healthy Scalp Clarifying Shine Shampoo with Pink Grapefruit by Neutrogena. And it says helps to clarify, it's for oily hair, helps to clarify, remove residue, and add shine, non-medicated, sulfur-free. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use this to clarify. And then for my moisturizing shampoo, I picked up the Herbal Essences Sulfate-Free Mango and Potent Aloe Curl Definer um, Real Botanicals Shampoo. And when I condition, um, I spoke about this in the previous video. I can't remember if I actually used it on camera, but um, I've been loving this conditioner. It is by Garnier Whole Blends. It is their strengthening conditioner, Ginger Recovery. Ginger is really good for the scalp and hair, and I love it because it smells exactly like ginger, and it lasts in my hair even after I've rinsed it out. It says strengthens and revitalizes weak hair. So that is what this looks like. And the two new products that I'm gonna try for my wash and go are by Curls. Um, when I first went natural, um, I tried their Curls Blueberry Bliss. It was okay, it flaked in my hair. I probably used too much, but um, I haven't tried any of their other products um, in their line since they've been out. I do remember also trying their um, edge control. I like the way it smells. It was just a bit too greasy for me and it did not lay my hair down like my curls like popped right back up. Um, so I decided to pick up the So So Smooth Vitamin C Leave-In Conditioner. And you guys know, know that I don't normally use a leave-in when I do my wash and goes. The only leave-in that I had really tried and I liked was the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate leave-in. Um, I ran out of that, but I rarely use that in my hair. Um, I use it a lot in my six-year-old's hair. And then I'm gonna try their popping, um, their So So Dev Vitamin C Curl Defining Jelly. So this is what my wash and go is gonna consist of today. So yeah. Um, <laughs> um, by the way, you guys can see, cause I really love these. Um, I got my nails done. I have not had my nails professionally done in about four years, probably five. So I got the coffin shape cause I like square nails at the tips. And um, I also got, I think it's the mood change gel. So I know that this is like this peachy color. Um, I sit up with the light, but yeah, this is this peachy color and it changes to white. So you guys will see it. Um, I know, yeah, if so, if I apply warm heat to it, it changes to white. So yeah, and then the cool makes it change back to the peach. And I just thought that was really cool. So yeah, let's go ahead, get into this wash and go, my puffs are thirsty they're dry and I washed my hair about a week ago when I went to Virginia Beach um, but it's been up in a puff and then in these two puffs since so yeah time to wash and I will be taking you guys into the shower with me to see this process
rage on that beat going crazy. Okay guys, so this is shit. I recorded my video and as you can see, I've done this part, but I actually came on camera with my shower cap on and I was conversating with you guys. All the while, instead of me hitting video, my finger hit slow-mo, so therefore it was recording in slow motion. So, what I did was put both products in. This piece here is just the conditioner. I'm gonna apply the gel, but what I'm noticing now is it seems like it's drying already. All I literally did was put it in three sections. I'm on this third section, and this is already starting to dry. And This is not all what I like. If you're new to my channel, my favorite gels are the Wet Line and the Ampro Aloe Gel. And I love them because they weigh my curls down and they clump them together. So I can already see as this is drying, let's see, that this is frizz. I don't believe in doing my wash and goes only to have to wash it out the same day or the next day. So I was trying to avoid adding any other gel in because I really wanted to see how these worked alone. I'm looking in the mirror, y'all. Give me a second. Yeah, I don't see anything but frizz. And I don't wanna put any more of the gel on top because it's not doing still what I wanted it to do. So, I think my hair shelf, sorry y'all, is right beside me. Getting some of these products. Um, and plus I don't have, I don't have any more wet line. So I'm going to have to use my and pro so this is my this is my favorite gel over top of wet line because it does weigh my hair down it has aloe in it but it does not flake my hair up um it depends on what i use it with but normally it doesn't flake my hair up anywhere near like wet line does so let me go ahead and put the gel um on this part and then i'm gonna overlay the um, Ampro gel over top of that. So literally what I was talking to you guys about and <laughs> I I guess I'll try to 
to talk about it in another video. But it was mainly um, me starting menopause. Um, I don't have any other symptoms other than me eating. So um, I will do a separate video on that just so I don't waste much time. But this is what I got with making sure you guys on uh, video. So this is what I got and you can hear, let me see. Sorry if you can hear like my neighbor mowing the lawn, but you guys can hear this. It literally sounds suzzy. So I'm gonna equate that with the um, conditioner, the leave-in. And I do have a lot of definition, but as like, and it's steady drying. It's by the second, it's steady drying. This is not, this is damp. This is like 50, 60% dry. Um, if I took a dryer, my handheld dryer right now and dried it, it would probably dry in a minute. Um, so I can't do this. I can't waste the fact that I just washed my hair and I don't want to wash my hair again. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the um, clear ice salad aloe over top. So I'm going to compare so you'll see this because this is just freshly done. You guys just watched me put this on. So I'm going to put this over top. So you guys can see the difference of how my hair is weighed down with it. And it seems to be already it seems to be mixing well uh, I don't see any residue get my roots that compared to this Yeah, you can start to see it frizz up as it goes along. Um, if you have a different hair texture or a pattern, um, these two products may work differently for you. But um, for me, like I said, I know how I like my curls to look and form. And that's not it by itself. I try, y'all. I, I come on here with the intentions of doing the products that I picked up in the line and I can never just use the two products that I pick up. Total difference. So again, I'm going to go ahead, fast forward through this part, let you guys listen to the music, come back when um, this is finished. from the grudge <laughs> I'm trying to do bangs this wash and go normally you guys know I do a side part I have done a middle part but I want bangs so um, that's why this is here so these are my wet results I have so much definition going on and I really hope that it turns out the way that I want. So, um, thoughts right now. The Poppin' Pineapple So So Smooth Leave-In Conditioner. Um, this is how much I have, you know, I use, which really wasn't a lot. 
um, it has slipped, but um, it's not like a tremendous slip. Let me move my hair for you guys. It looks so weird. Um, it's not a like a tremendous slip, but it does have slip. When you add the um, curl defining gel over top, um, it's sudsy. But again, I don't think that's this. I think it is the conditioner. And on top of that, I was getting frizz as to why I added my um, Ampro Styler gel in um, with aloe. So my curls have been weighed down as I like. They are clumped together as I like as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead, let this air dry for a while. That's my MO. I like to let my hair air dry before I apply any heat to it. Um, and then I will go ahead and dry and come back to you guys with the finished results. Um, most likely because I've been loving the stretch in my hair with the dryer, um, I probably will do that as well. And then at night, um, I band my hair every night to keep it stretched. So I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay guys, these are my final dry and stretch results. And I cannot tell you how much I love this. Um, I have like second, third day hair on the first day. Um, so what I did was air dry my hair. It didn't particularly take very long as I thought that it would. Um, after I let it dry for a few hours, um, I used the handheld dryer and dried the rest and then I stretched it. Now, um, didn't get that clip, but my hair did not shrink, um, as much as it usually does with any other gel as to why I consistently will use wet line or the Ampro um, Styler gel in, um, which has aloe in it. So I did not have any flakes as you guys can see. I have a lot, a lot of definition and volume and fullness and I am thoroughly impressed. So um, I, did not like the way, oh yeah. This is how it also turns out like an ombre. So um, I'm digging this a lot. So uh, yeah, back to the hair. So um, I didn't get any flakes whatsoever. And had this been wet line, I would have seen flakes. Um, you may not have seen it on camera and it probably wouldn't have been um, like all over my skin, but there would have been some flakage if this um, had been wet line plus these products. So I have found me another, let me give you guys a 360. Cause I am so impressed and happy. All this volume and body. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. So my bangs, um, because my hair is uh, fine and is not thick, it might look thick, but it is not thick at all. My bangs did not do what I needed them to do. Um, it just didn't look full, like when I do my side bang. Um, I even tried the little um, bobby pin trick by putting it up to lift it up some but I, I just wasn't feeling it. So what I did was um, just stick in the side part, uh, use my Kiss Edge Fixer glued Max Hole. This is the scent uh, Sweet Peach. And I love those so much. They're at Walmart. I don't know how long they've been at Walmart, but I found them last month at Walmart and I got me like a good six of them. All they had was the Sweet Peach, Grape and Watermelon. I don't really like watermelon scents, but I got a bunch of grape and sweet peach and they were like $3.69 a piece. So yeah, um, I don't see, looking in the mirror guys, I don't see why this wouldn't last me more than 
four or five days. Um, I wouldn't go so far as to say a whole week, but you never know. So yeah, this is my review, my first impressions of the curls popping pineapple collection i did not do the whole collection but i did do um as you guys saw the leave-in conditioner and the curl defining gel and yeah i love these so i'm definitely gonna go back and get these again when i run out and the fact that again because the bottles have settled i did not use that much in my hair and along with that the Ampro, Ampro stays in my arsenal more so even than the wet line uh, because I get what I want my curls to be elongated, for them to be clumped, and the fact that I don't get the frizz. So um, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. If you're new here on your way out, if you don't mind, please hit that red subscribe button. Turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video like this video, comment, and share it, and I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Peace.